Enhancing the technology we have rather than reinventing the wheel. That's exactly what scientists are doing here at Arizona State University. I'm ABC 15's Justin Hobbs. We're getting a first hand look at a new piece of technology called the Wildfire Awareness and Risk Management System, and its hope is to save lives in the future. We're looking at the most destructive fire in California's recorded history. November 2018, the town of Paradise nearly erased by flames in just hours. Utility company PG&E could face murder charges if it's found to have caused the campfire. From 2016 to 2020, nearly one in five wildfires were sparked by power systems, a growing danger as climate change brings hotter and drier conditions. Cal Fire says transmission lines owned by Pacific Gas and Electric caused that fire which killed 85 people and destroyed 15,000 homes. On one side, you have electricity, fire. On one side, no fire, but no electricity. Where is the sweet spot? That balance is why the WARN system was developed, wildfire awareness and risk management. It doesn't reinvent detection. It improves it, fixing issues with thermal cameras, a key firefighting tool. The problem with that particular approach or that solution is that in an ideal environment, they work fine. But then thermal cameras are also very, very power hungry. This means cameras may fail when they are needed most. Warm solves this using solar and ambient energy, only activating cameras when triggered. We have what we call the base level sensors. The base level sensors will remain on all the time, but they are very low power consuming. An example of that can be wind speed. The next level of sensors are what I call, let's say, carbon monoxide sensors or particulate matters. Then come the third level of sensors, which is the thermal camera. So the thermal camera does not turn on immediately. It turns on only when the base level sensors have said that you know, some threshold has exceeded. By monitoring local conditions, warm boosts early detection and helps prevent power line fires by reducing or rerouting electricity. We can lower the power flowing through the lines. We can even disconnect them if given sufficient you know, time in advance. We can always reroute power through safer paths. The system is fully developed and ready for field testing. The main remaining step is securing funding for broader implementation. In Tempe, Justin Humps, ABC 15 Arizona.